Good morning. You're listening to First Talk with Hal Rowe on WHKY Talk Radio for the Greater Hickory Metro. Uh, it's an extended chamber chat this morning, which that's always a good thing. We have a few extra minutes uh, to, fo- to talk with folks from the chamber, the Catawba County Chamber of Commerce. I called over there the other day, and everybody's really good doing good on the branding. It's like the chamber. So I'm like, good. We all know that it's the chamber. Uh, Director of Leadership Development joins us this morning, Kim Dahlstein. Nice to have you with us. Good morning. Good morning. And we've got some graduates in this morning from uh, something that's been a very, very popular um, program with the Catawba County Chamber of Commerce. It's been going on for a number of years. Tell us all about it. It's called Leadership Catawba. Absolutely. So good morning, Helen. Good morning, everybody. So yeah, Leadership Catawba is the longest running program of our organization. We just concluded our 48th program year and are getting ready to launch. 48th. 48th. So right. Our organization celebrated our 50th anniversary last year. So two years after it merged together, they started this program. So all about leadership development for the future of our community, our county, our region, Um, educating leaders that are up and coming in the community for not only their professional, but also personal in the community as well. Very good. You brought some uh, graduates Absolutely. with you this morning, I guess, to kind of tell their stories. Is that exactly. what you'd like to do this morning? Exactly. So I, um, as they well know, too, I love talking about this program, but it's always wonderful to hear from their perspective. Um, they're all graduates of just last year's program, so I'm happy to have them join me today. So. Would you like to introduce I our would first love guest? To. I would love good. to. So our first um, graduate is Ann Metz. Graduate. She, well, there you go. Yes. She is the Director of Marketing and Communications for Fry Regional Medical Center. So Ann is here with us this morning. Hi, no, uh, Nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are, I'm get you, if you would, uh, to swing that mic around for just a little bit. closer to me. Perf- there you go. That's, awesome. that's absolutely fine. So tell me, I'm, I'm going to, first of all, let's find out a little bit about you. Because you are kind of, n- not so much brand new, but a little bit new to the market. You I moved am? into the market, weren't, weren't born and raised in the area. No. So tell us a little bit about you, just to kind of start yes, off with, if you, you would. thank you. Thank sure. you. So I've been Director of Marketing and Communications at Fry for almost two years. Two in years. In fact... Um, on May 13th, it will be my two-year anniversary moving to Hickory. Wow, okay. Moving to Hickory. And as you said, I've, I'm have i new here. I have lived in many different places. Um, most recently came from Knoxville, right. where I was uh, the marketing director for a um, health system there. And uh, it'll be two-year anniversary at Fry on May 17th. So very exciting. So, yes, I'm new to this area how did you find out about, is this something that maybe people in your office told you about, maybe as you were working with your the, the C-suite and they yes. said, this is something we'd like you to take a look at and maybe plug into? How did you go, uh, how did you find out about it? Absolutely. Um, you know, part of my role as the director of marketing is connecting our C-suite with the community uh, and, and knowing about the community, I'm often, you know, the first person that organizations will contact if they right. want to partner with us, if they want to spon- you know, would love for us to sponsor an event, or, you know, maybe they're asking for a donation, right. or they would love us to come out and do some sort of health fair. Okay. So, so um, you're the person I'm, 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 that they will contact, and, and, yeah. or the people there will they'll pick up the phone and they'll say, yes. you need to talk to Ann Metz. Yes, right. that, that happens frequently. All right. Yes. And so... Uh, at the time, my CEO was Rod Harker Road. Right, a uh, great guy. He, um, you know, was part of the reason I came to this community. Not only Fry Regional is a great place to work, but we have great leadership there. So he um, encouraged me. It was time to register for the new class. Fry right. Regional is gracious enough to sponsor a uh, a student every year for Good. the past several years. Good. And he, um, in fact, I think the chamber came to me and said, you know, who do you want, who would you like to nominate for oh, next right. year? And I went, I went to Rod and said, Ann Metz. Ann Metz, <laughs> right. So very, very good. I was very honored by that. My husband, Dave, um, he was in leadership San Francisco many years ago when we lived in San Francisco. Okay. And I observed him coming home with excitement, talking about the different things he had learned about the community. I also saw that he has a group of friends that he made, I don't know, 20 years ago right. in leadership San Francisco that he still keeps contact with. I think it's interesting. I want to go back for just a moment. Yeah. Obviously, Fry Regional thinks enough of the program yes. to say every year yes. we're going to let one person assign a, a volunteer yes. uh, to participate in this. So they obviously see the worth. They're not going to be doing this no, just no. for the fun of it. They're going Absolutely. to see a return on their investment. Yeah, and we very much, um, speaking on behalf of Fry, really appreciate the Chamber of Commerce here. It's just a fantastic organization, well led by people like Kim, and we see we see the value 
definitely of, of leadership Catawba as well as other things. I'm so. not going to ask you if you learned any streets in the city of Hickory <laughs> because that's going to be – that's a whole other class. That's something yeah. else. But, but, what, what but was I some, probably did. Good. That's and a good thing. on all of those streets <laughs> right, that I had no right. idea about. Well, I was going to say what well, probably because I, uh, you just talked about the uh, – the contacts that you make, mm-hmm. that your husband made, mm-hmm. and, and not only initially for business, but mm-hmm. and, and being excited, yeah. but also those lifelong relationships yeah, that you build absolutely. during this time. What would you say? One of the, is that one of the greatest things that you took away, or being new in the community? Were you able to become more acclimated in a shorter period of time? You tell me what's Every, the, the benefit. Everything, Ab- absolutely. Um, Yes, the connections that I made, the information I learned about everything from um, economic development to, you know, what are the businesses here? Right. You, you know, I, th- I think one of the um, speakers, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Kim, said that, you know, you might drive around and see all these different factories and they look like they're maybe empty. Right. But it's, there's only a very small handful that there isn't business taking place within it. There isn't something being created in this place. So, it, you know, it was very, definitely very helpful um, to learn about the community, about the businesses, about the nonprofits um, here. I mean, it, it covers so, so much. And yes, so not only did it help me learn about things and make connections that I can take back to the executive suite and, you know, maybe go back and talk to my HR director and say, we should be involved in X or our, you know, CEO, you know, there's this organization. It would be great if we could, you know, partner with them on something. But um, also met a lot of great people in all different types of businesses that I might not have met somewhere else that, um, you know, the, it's, the, the class is intensive, you're learning a lot, but there is also time to talk to people about their businesses and, yeah. You're a professional in the community. You're one of those folks who is well-known and looked up to. Uh, now, uh, of course, not only do your calls, I'm going to guess, get taken by the folks who were in there or maybe people that you met. Oh, Ann Metz, I went through uh, Leadership Catawba with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll take it, – it's one of those deals where the calls get taken – where you're able to maybe talk with somebody uh, without having to go through that long introduction process, that kind of dance, if you will, where you're getting to know somebody and they're getting to know you. You're doing that on on a monthly basis. You're you're talking with folks in the community and you're going and you're meeting folks in other leadership roles Absolutely. throughout the community. Absolutely. That's got to be because you said you've lived uh, several different places. Mm-hmm. That's got to be a big help for you coming in and being a professional in the community oh, of knowing that your call is going to be taken and people don't have to say, who's Ann Metz, right? It is, yes, and it's the opposite, too. It's people will call me and I'll say, oh, that's such and such a nonprofit. What a great organization. I, I learned about them at, you know, one of the right. leadership Catawba sessions, and I'm, I am even more excited to, you know, connect with people that I have heard about and learned and learned about. For sure. So those connections are a lot more easily made. Uh, it, it simplifies, I think, the, from what I'm hearing from you, that process that you go through. Yeah. And it's fun. It's, it's exciting. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, Hickory's a, Hickory, Catawba County, it's a great, it's a great community. It's probably the smallest, perhaps the smallest community I've ever lived in. Really? But what is so, you know, exciting is I can go out to the Crawdads game yesterday and see somebody that I either met through Leadership Catawba or, you know, they were one of our speakers, you know, walked by Douglas, the general manager, you know, it's like, oh, I know Douglas. And he looks at me and he knows, he knows me. So Hickory, Hickory is a great community. And maybe, maybe that's, I don't want to say that's my greatest takeaway from Leadership Catawba. I have so many takeaways, but that this is a great community, that there are very passionate people about their organizations, about the community. There's a lot of smart growth going on. Um, You know, the education systems are amazing. The entrepreneurship programs are, uh, um, uh, apprenticeship programs are amazing. These are all things that I did not know when Rod Harkle Road, you know, offered me the job, and I said, yes, okay, I'll come to Hickory. And you so, know, very insightful. That's something that even people who live here for decades yes. may not yes. be aware of. Yes. But it, 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 through this program, 
And what you're just mm-hmm. talking about kind of encapsulates it, mm-hmm. brings it at least to your attention, and that way you can say, this is interesting. I've yes. learned about it, and this is something that I maybe yes. want to pursue further. This is somebody that Fry wants to partner with. Yeah. It, it's a great way to do that in a very streamlined and best practices type form. They've been doing it for almost five decades. Is that what I'm hearing? Almost so. They may yeah. just have it down. Who knows? They, they have it down. We've got they some other guests do. on the way. Yes. So nice to see you this morning. Great to see Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank Ann you. Metz, Director of Marketing and Communications, yeah. Fry Regional Medical Center. Yeah. It's an extended chamber chat this morning, uh, and we had to go to break real quick before we, it was what we call a hard break. We needed to go. Ann Metz was talking on the air with us, Director of Marketing and Communications, Fry Regional Medical Center, and we were talking about Leadership Catawba. And unfortunately, we had to go to a break, and I never like cutting off a guest, especially when you were right in the middle. There was a thought that you wanted to give us and something you wanted to wrap up with, and we'd like to give you that opportunity, Ms. Metz. I appreciate that. Hal. Certainly. Um, I think that the support of your organization uh, is very important through Leadership Catawba, and I just had wanted to add that I was really thankful also to Dr. Philip Green, who is our new CEO, just came on board uh, several months ago as the CEO and our executive leadership team for allowing me to be away from the office for several hours every month, um, two sessions every month. And um, so just it's really important to have that support of your organization, and I feel blessed that I did. I thank you very much for adding that. And you also have a new COO, do you not? Or or is it a CFO? We we have a new COO, Lindy White. Okay. She is amazing. We're very, very fortunate to have her here. If I read the press release right, UVA? No, okay. she's, she um, she was with a health system. In, oh, I thought was I was in, just talking about her undergraduate degree, and so yeah. I thought she was from Virginia. Maybe I got yeah. the wrong she, one there. And she probably did. She worked at hospitals in Virginia and Tennessee. Very very ex- experienced and a great leader. And good. Well, I'm, I'm terribly sorry to say this. Sometimes when I see Virginia on a press release, I'll stop. Yeah. And I'll, oh, they got to be good people, right? Yeah, it's sure. like everyone in Virginia is wonderful. But thank you so much for uh, for what you uh, do with Fry Regional Medical Center. Thank you for your time this morning. I certainly my, do appreciate my pleasure. it. Thank you. I know you're busy. Thank you very much. Ann Metz, Director of Marketing and Communications for our Regional Medical Center. Now, uh, Kim Dalstein, if you would, please. Uh, we've got some other guests in the studio, some other graduates of um, Catawba, or Leadership Catawba. If you would, please tell us who we have in the studio. I am happy to. So we have two more that are joining us. So Portia Corpenine, Senior Relationship Banker with First Horizon Bank in Newton. And then Todd Watson is the owner of Just Dump It, Dumpster Rentals, and Junk Removal. So they both just graduated in the last cohort and have some key takeaways in their story that they'd like to share as well. Very good. Ms. Corpening, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Are you from the area? I'm from Lenore originally. From Lenore. I thought you were yeah. going to say I'm from Virginia, and then would have been <laughs> just regret. But now tell me a little bit about you. So you're from Lenore, so you were familiar with some of the organizations but uh, as somebody who's been here maybe for a while, mm-hmm. tell me a little bit about some of the things that you took away from Leadership Catawba from someone who has been here. Let's see. To be honest with you, there was so much to take in that I don't have actually just one right. key hard takeaway. Sure. Um, I will say I definitely, I've heard of Leadership Catawba prior to, you know, yes, being involved. But I never really knew to the extent of what it really entailed, um, how community oriented they are, how, you know, there's literally, if there's a need, there's definitely a service for it and wow. how it really opens that up and addresses everything. Um, so I can't really say one thing in particular. Career wise, was this helpful for you? Because I'm guessing like Ms. Metz, you talk with a lot of folk, lots of folks in the community as that relationship banker. Uh-huh. Was this helpful for you to be able to take all this information and to bring it into the office and to bring in, I, I know it sounds to me like drinking from a fire hose, as they yeah. say. There's a lot of information there. Right. But, um, but with this information, were you able to take this into your career, and was it helpful for you in that aspect? Absolutely. You know, um, in banking, of course, I'm customer-facing all day, every day. So I meet several different customers and clients with different needs. So right. if they have a small business and they haven't really been in business up to the standard of what the bank would recommend that two years, then I learned that there's external resources for small businesses that I can, right. I can't help you here, but I can send you to someone right. who can help you externally. Um, even on personal levels, like, you know, for some reason, 
I have the face to where everyone wants to tell me everything that's going on in their life <laughs> majority of the time. Right. But whatever they're going through, I am able to assist on additional services that I volunteered at or, you know, while I was in leadership. Photography, so you be, you're you able to be that clearinghouse. You're able to become that resource Absolutely. for people from what you've learned. And you can take that to your customers and other folks throughout Absolutely. the bank. Sounds like it's been a wonderful experience for you. Let's talk with Mr. Tom Watson. He's the owner of Just Dump It, uh, Dumpster Rentals and Junk Removal. That's got to be a booming business for you right now especially that dumpster uh, i don't know but i'm thinking probably quite a, a quite a, a a good company staying busy yes i'm staying real busy very good, nice well tell us a little bit about you and just dump it let's start there i'm going to give you a free 30 second commercial <laughs> well just dump it uh, we do dumpster rentals and junk removal and we like i said we only specialize in 12 cubic yard dumpsters so like household stuff like okay if you clean out your garage and stuff like that perfect dumpster to do that. And Ms. Dalston, I'm going to ask you to move that mic up just a little bit for him. So there you go. Uh, so if I'm cleaning out my garage, I may need one, two, three, or whatever. Do you do construction as well? Uh, little projects, not big ones like no. uh, kitchen remodel, bathroom remodel. Okay, gotcha. Like so if some, so now tell me a little bit about Leadership Catawba for you, sir. Uh, leadership Catawba was a, I want to say, awesome thing to be a part of. Um, everything you learn, all the friends you make. Right. Like when I go to out run around, go to the crawl dads or go to like a summit or something like that, you'd be surprised how many people I meet from the leadership leadership of Catawba. How about business wise? Do you think that and I don't know because I guess you're a recent graduate, I'm guessing because I think Ms. Dalston yep, graduated told us, this year. Graduated this year. Uh, do you think that this may lead to some um possible business uh, yes. for you in oh, in, yes. in the future? In the future. Um definitely we met actually one of the graduates that I graduated with actually used me while we're doing the class and stuff like that. So that was funny. He was actually remodeling his house. Oh, really? <laughs> so he was remodeling. He was wondering, who do I go to to help with this? You're in leadership Catawba. So it happened right then and there. I don't know if it paid for the whole thing or not, but but it certainly defrayed the cost. So oh, do, 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 do you think you maybe met some folks here? Because I, I know that Miss Corporating probably did and, and Miss Metz as well. Maybe people that you would not normally meet, either in the classroom or in the community. Uh, both. Um, definitely in the classroom, I probably would have met probably none of them, to tell you the truth. Right. Um, because the line of business I am and the line of business that they're in, sure. I probably wouldn't meet a lot of them. And I definitely met a lot of people outside, um, all the people that came in and talked to us to give, give their time up to tell us what's going on out there and how to help. Uh, especially, like, I've kind of partnered up with a lot of these, um, like, Safe Harbor. Uh, when we go do a clean-out job, I would recommend to call Safe Harbor first to come take what they can take to help oh, them. Oh, right. And then I come in afterwards and take what's left over. Gotcha. So, so we're trying to. So you're able to help them. members of the community? Yep. Those members of the community may be able to recommend you. So you're able to build those relationships again in a very short period of time to encapsulate that, to move it ahead. And of course, you're getting benefits, and they are as well. So it sounds like a wonderful opportunity for everybody that we've talked to. Ms. Corpening, you're going to highly recommend it for everyone, whether it, whatever line of work? Absolutely. To all the organizations, if you aren't familiar with it, please get your people involved. It's definitely an opportunity that a lot of time is spent you know, putting it together, lining everything up, and they don't miss on anything. There's so much to learn. There's so much to take away. There's so much for us to, you know, just be a continuing cycle and just right. get back to the community knowledge, time, however we can do it. So all the organizations out there, if you don't have your people in there, get, get them, them in there. there. Very yes, good. Ms. Corbin, it's so nice to have you with us this Thank morning. You. I'm going to guess, Mr. Watson, you're like, oh, that thumbs up. You recommend it to everybody in the community? Oh, Definitely. It's, it's for everybody. If, if you're a big organization, I recommend to get involved in it because it will teach you people how to be leaders in the community and stuff like that, even if they're in the job. And if you're a small business owner, I recommend it because there's so many things out there to help you grow your business within this group. Well said, sir. Thank you very much. Kim Dahlstein, you have a real quick way. How do we get in touch with the chamber? How do we get folks involved? Absolutely. Um, first of all, there's an informational meeting. So those that are considering or planning to apply tomorrow at 3.30. Oh, tomorrow at 3.30. Um, yep, tomorrow at okay. 3.30. Free to attend. Find it on our website, catabachamber.org. And then applications open a week from today at 9 a.m. on our website. Uh, do we have to be a member of the chamber? You do not. You do not have to be a member of the chamber. Very good. Informational meeting tomorrow at 3.30. Is that going to be at the chamber? It is not. It's in Conover. All the information is on our website. All the inf And the, the website address is? Catabachamber.org. Catabachamber.org. Chamber.org. 
I want to thank you very much for joining us this morning. Always a pleasure. Thank you all very much for coming in and talking about Leadership Catawba.